Welcome back. Thanks for keeping it right here on YCN Sports Wrap. Well, on Wednesday night, the Lebanon Raiders boys basketball team traveled just a few miles to take on their rivals, the Marauders of Hanover. Lebanon came in with a record of 1-0, while Hanover dropped their season opener to bow and came in with a record of 0-1. Let's see who was able to get the W during this highly anticipated Wexler Cup matchup. The Raiders recently lost their star player KJ Matty with a broken right foot. Many consider him to be the best player in the state, so this was a huge loss for Lebanon. But the Raiders didn't feel sorry for themselves and knew they had to step up without their leader. And that's exactly what they did on Wednesday night against Hanover. With Ryan Milliken scoring 17 first half points, Graham Chickering playing a huge role scoring 7, and Chris Nolte scoring 13 of his own, including three three-pointers. By halftime, Lebanon held a strong 38-12 lead. The second half was more of the same, with the Raiders controlling play. Eventually, Lebanon's head coach played the second string to give Milliken, Chickering, Nolte, and Matthew Elander a rest and to ensure their health, as Lebanon cannot afford to lose any more starters. By the end of the game, Lebanon had won by a final score of 63-36. to After the win, we caught up with Milliken and Nolte to get their thoughts about their rivalry victory over the Marauders. Uh, it was played very fast pace and our team played very good defense. And we were unselfish the whole time and we hit a lot of, lot of good shots. So, I mean, that's how we won the game. In practice, we just like right against our Davy players and they lose their offense. We just went right against them. And I don't know, we just played very good defense. Um, Chris Nolte, uh, Graham Chickering played very well. Paul Savinsky, Matt Islander is a great rebounder for us. Um, I would say Chris, he played very good for us. He had a lot of shots. Um, we play unselfish and get open shots and allows us to catch fire at any time and just play our game. Keep playing as hard as we do. That's the key. Play 110% both ways the whole the whole game, and just never let up on defense. And defense wins championships. So, and that's that's what we practice every day. We just practice on defense. Uh, offensively, I think we hit a lot of shots. We worked hard, got fast breaks, and had easy layups. And then defensively, we just worked hard, got in the gaps, and did what we're supposed to do. Feels good. The big rivals in every sport, so it's good to get that win. Feels good. Better than a regular one. Uh, I thought Ryan Milliken worked really hard. He got some easy steals, got some easy baskets. Graham Chickering is always finding guys for easy shots. Matt Allen are getting big rebounds. It's good. Um, we just need to keep working hard in practice, uh, hitting shots, playing hard defense. Yeah, we know not having him. He's the best player in the state, so we knew we had to step up and work even harder. KJ Maddy is expected to miss at least a month when he'll be re-X-rayed. The Raiders fear the worst that he could miss his entire senior season. But with or without him, it appears as if Lebanon will be just fine. The Raiders will look to improve to 3-0 against Conval on January 6th. Many expected this Lebanon team to be the favorite to win the Division II state title during preseason. Obviously, losing KJ has hurt the Raiders' chances, but even without him, the team still looks very strong and is still expected to be a top seed toward the end of the season. We're going to take a short commercial break, but when YCN Sports Wrap returns, we'll be bringing you an interview with Lebanon's head coach Keith Maddy as he discussed his team's victory over Hanover. We'll be right back. 